Hello, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center uh, here today to show off a brand new hotspot slash router from AT&T and Netgear. This is the Netgear Nighthawk LTE Mobile Hotspot Router. It comes in kind of a snazzy box. We just picked this up at an AT&T store. It was announced about two weeks ago. And what sets this apart is this is AT&T and Netgear claiming the world's first gigabit class LTE um, hotspot. So it is a major, major evolutionary jump over AT&T's last flagship, the Unite Explorer. So let's take a look at what makes it different. First off, let's pop inside. There we go. The key thing that makes this different is it actually has an Ethernet port. This is will let you hook up um, to uh, your home router or your mobile router and share the signal better than it can do on its own and um, potentially even hook this up into an Ethernet switch. We'll see how well that works when we test it out. Um, other things this has, it has a USB-C port here on the bottom. That is its charging and tethering port. So USB-C is still kind of rare. And then it has a regular USB plug-in port, a USB-A port, that you can then use this as a giant battery bank to charge other devices. And then you think these might be little stand-up feet underneath, but no, these are actually one of the most important features, antenna ports. So this um, hotspot has two antenna ports for hooking up to a MIMO antenna, like our cheap favorite, the little Netgear MIMO. Uh, see on the top, a power button on the back. It's using, um, it's typical for AT&T, it's using a micro SIM size uh, um, SIM card. And uh, the details, let's see what else is in this little box. I do the back cover here. Uh, let's get started guide. There. And, and then inside something else we have here the battery. And sealed. This Netgear battery is model W10A. It's 19.78 uh, watt hours and 5,040 milliamp hours. They say that this has enough runtime to go 24 hours of continuous use. Then they measure that as, I believe, watching YouTube for half an hour, then being idle for a little bit, watching more YouTube. So it's a pretty aggressive use case. Battery snaps in here. Back cover goes on here. And. See what else we got. We have the charger. This is a uh, puts out USB, but this is actually compatible with a uh, um, the Qualcomm Quick Charge standard, so it can charge it over you know, faster than a typical USB port. And here is the USB A to USB C connector to plug in here. Now, when you're actually charging from a charger like this, this supposedly can run without needing a battery installed. So that for people who are worried about batteries swelling over time, you can put this in your tech cabinet, plug it in with this, and you should not need a battery, at least according to the manual. We'll be trying that out. Set the power button on top and see what it looks like when it boots. It's got kind of a unique round screen on the front. Um, um, so the things that make this unique is that primarily comes down to the modem that is inside of it. So the modem in here, the old Unite Explorer, is a Cat9 LTE modem capable of max theoretical speeds of 450 megabits per second down and 50 megabits per second up. So crazy faster than you'll ever need. Um, this, on the other hand, is actually capable of max download speeds of 1,000 megabits per second, or 1 gigabit, and uploads three times faster of 150 megabits now per the, second. The speed potential is all subject to theoretical perfect LTE lab conditions. You'll never see that in real life, but this has more headroom to milk out better performance as AT&T proceeds to upgrade their backbone network. So this has more future life. Um, delivering faster speeds over time. Now this also, you know, it's very similar spec-wise as far as what LTE bands are supported. This one supports uh, LTE bands 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 12, 17, 29, 30, and 66. So every LTE band AT&T currently has 
and it's the same bands that this supports, except this also supports band 66, which is a new band that AT&T is just starting to roll out. Now, other things that really kind of set this apart, it supports uh, dual band Wi-Fi. It's got 802.11 AC and 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Um, it's got the antenna ports. Uh, the Ethernet port, now there's a little thing of note is the way this Ethernet port is designed to be used according to the manual is for data offloading. So if you're at a hotel or something where there is a connection you can plug into or a friend's house where there's an Ethernet connection you can plug into, it uses that Ethernet connection not to share the cellular connection but to actually let your devices that are connected via Wi-Fi share that Ethernet connection. But theoretically, and we've seen several reports, you can actually use the Ethernet port the other way as well which is much, much more useful. AT&T's marketing around this is they're saying this is the first, quote, 5G, 5G evolution is how they're saying it, um, hotspot. And some people are getting excited, like, hey, this is 5G, this is the step to the next generation. But just like how AT&T, when they rolled out um, a 4G network before they actually had 4G LTE, this is, their 5G network is kind of... Um, current generation 4G LTE pushed to its limits before 5G. So this is probably like the pinnacle of 4G technology before real 5G comes along. So the AT&T has decided to call that 5G evolution. Um, all the other carriers are just calling it their fastest, best LTE. So the same basic technology Verizon and T-Mobile are also deploying of multiple channel carrier aggregation. Um, pushing towards gigabit LTE capabilities. One final thing to know about this is this device can still be activated on an unlimited plan with AT&T. Uh, truly unlimited, you're only subject to network management but not to any sort of hard throttles or data caps. That is potentially for a limited time. AT&T has been making moves to eliminate the ability to add hotspots like this to the unlimited plans. Um, so if you want to lock in um, a Nighthawk onto AT&T Unlimited, do it now, add it to a Unite Plus plan, or open up a Unite Plus plan before AT&T closes the door on that option. So here is the Netgear Nighthawk. It is AT&T's new current flagship hotspot, and we are eager to test it out, see how well the Ethernet port works, and a few of the other tricks up its sleeve.